Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video, and today, very stoked, been looking forward to this guy ever since I saw him on display at this year's sweet, sweet 2023 event, got to show him off proper, that was a blast, thank you very much, Playmates, but, the... Well, the giant Mega Mutants, right? Everyone was saying, well, that's a spoiler. Spoilers! Even though they debuted the trailer with him in it the exact same day. Go figure, right? We're going to be talking about spoilers, so if you haven't seen the movie, I don't know what to tell you at this point. It's everywhere. It's also hitting stores now at Walmart. I'll put links down in the description below if you want to grab one for yourself. And they will see release at other stores later in 2024. And on the back side of the box, you get to see all that artwork so you kind of get an idea what you're looking at here. Along with a bio of what you're looking at here. And I gotta say, the artwork is a perfect homage to all things Playmates and disgusting when involving the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. That's very cool to me, and you get to see every single thing that this figure does. Quite a bit of articulation for this size, and there will be some parts and pieces you have to install yourself once you get them out of the box, but I'll show you all that in just a few. And like I said, here's the barcode. Start to hit Walmart store shelves. Links down in the description below. Yada yada. Now, real quick, let's talk some Toy Fair news because I was at the Playmates booth. I do have photos. They did ask me, please don't post these. It's a Nickelodeon Paramount situation. They're not ready for the photos to go around the internets, right? So I will oblige. But just know that uh, I can talk about what I saw. We got some classic action figures are coming. The Rat King will be a part. Totally stoked on that. I did see figures of the new Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and they will have interswappable parts. I will say there's new mutants. They look pretty good. Very interesting. New characters. And I did see Ray Filet, the Post Malone version. He looks pretty good. Looks to be that he will be a part of these figures when they hit sometime later next year. These won't be out for quite a while, but things can change. Just keep that in mind. But rest assured... Uh, yeah, there'll be a lot more if you're a fan of Mutant Mayhem and retro re-releases uh, coming soon. And I did ask about the whole Pizza Throw and Dawn and a few other figures. And just to kind of give you a broad answer, if you don't see certain characters, certain things right now, you may see them later. But when it comes to, say, Pizza Throw and Dawn, when they reuse molds or they have the old molds, it looks like Dawn... Uh, may be missing a permanently. Like I said, things could change, but that was the answer I was giving. Not all the old molds survived, so that's kind of a bummer, but that's not to say that they may go back and do certain things and augment certain things, so sky's the limit. Don't think it's a done deal just yet, but those are my answers, and uh, when the time comes, yeah, I'll have photos to post. Lots of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are coming from Playmates, but in the meantime, we got a mega-sized video for this Mega Mutant. And I'm totally happy with that. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new, straight from the TMNT Mutant Mayhem movie, The Mega Mutant by Playmates Toys. And likewise, while I got all you mega mutants here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. It does mean a lot to me. I just hit 60,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. But if you haven't already, what is wrong with you? Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell thingy. I got to tell you all this. It just, it's a YouTube thing. You know what I mean? But anyways, we talk about toys here and... Well, I hope you'll all join us because we got lots of Ninja Turtles to talk about coming soon. Wink, wink. But the Mega Mutant, I absolutely love this figure. It is wild. It's disgusting. It's just unruly in every single way. But somehow it congeals and it definitely works. You got the big old bug eyes. When I saw this on display at Sweet Sweet New York, I took one look and I said, okay, you can kind of pull out what this is, but it's not until you see the movie where you're like... Oh, okay. Like the little horse falls off, which is friggin' hilarious. That was the best joke. The wings, each one has a specific spot. You can't mess that up. You got five wings to install. Little bits and pieces of paint do help this come to life a whole heck of a lot better. You got a whole mess of sea life up top, which is kind of like the hair. You got a giraffe that's melted to an elephant, which is just god awful. My god. <laughs> In a good way, right? You got the octopus. It's just disgusting, is what I'm talking about. And, of course, the whale body. You got turtles underneath. Now, when I saw this, like I said, these are a bunch of monkeys all melded together. And I thought, well, it was like hot dogs? You know what I mean? What is that going to be? Those are narwhal whales. <laughs> 
why were those in a zoo? I guess they were. No, why would those be in the New York Atlantic? Anyways, anyways, he's got the 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 shorts of Superfly. These are all horses. Remember again, like I said, that joke was just hilarious. There's little bits of paint here and there to kind of bring out the sculpt. You have little bits of paint to bring out the turtles. There are other sculpted pieces, which is very like let's say general trag of the original playmates. You have the big claw arm that's obviously from Superfly. You get some articulation out of that. And then you have some painted veins and a little bit of articulation at the actual claw. I would have loved something at the actual elbow. That would have been kind of fun. On this side, you basically get the same thing just done in a different way. The little monkey narwhal hand will twist right there. So again, pretty decent articulation for this type of character, this type of action figure. And down here at the legs, he's pretty sturdy. He's got some swivel here, basically. They don't rotate or do anything, they just kind of move around in a circle and he's for the most part pretty well grounded and he stays in place whether you want to get him low or get him high the higher you go he gets a little bit back heavy we'll say but the tail articulation makes up for that it won't go all the way to the base you can kind of move the legs to get in that way so he's kind of barely teetering back but it's a nicely balanced figure but the best part of course is the giant mega mouth and i really like that because it's an added play feature for the kiddos because what kid doesn't want to put their ninja turtles right in the whale's mouth have them eating them chomp down it's a lot of fun for the kids right it's fun for me i enjoy that you can put some slime in there too get a canister of ooze nice detail all the way around it's a very cool figure if you can't tell by now i absolutely love the way this thing looks the size however a lot of people were saying oh i wish it was to scale how how would that really go so no it's not to scale but i appreciate that it is big enough to be a new character and that's what i love most about it because well let's say within the whole mutant mayhem universe tmnt universe that's totally fine for this type of scale for these characters because uh, these are for the kids but i'm appreciating it as a brand new character for my Ninja Turtle shelf. So you put Raph in his mouth or you can have him you just spit him out, right? So now Raph's head been inside a giant whale, a hippo, and a giant sloth. Now if you're wondering, well how does this giant mega mutant compare to old Playmates or cartoon TMNT from NECA Toys? Well, I kinda like the scale on this. Again, I don't really care what happens in the movie. Fine, whatever, he's a giant, humongous skyscraper sized mutant. He's big enough to be something different, something unique. And I love it for that. Super 7, Loyal Subjects, goes with that as well. It's just big enough to fit with most things. And again, it's just disgusting to look at. And that's the epitome of the old school Ninja Turtles. Now, I did find that if you wanted to go a little bit more to scale, quote unquote, you can have some Super Impulse, world's smallest action figure Ninja Turtles, and get yourself a Hot Wheels party wagon and there you go you can go that route if you want so that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new playmates mega mutants from the tmnt mutant mayhem movie and thank you very much to playmates for sending this out for the purposes of this video this brings back all the old playmates disgustingness that i loved about the toys growing up and i'll say it this is the coolest thing playmates has done for me in terms of them having the ninja turtle franchise this is what i like a little bit more paint on this thing and it would have been rocking but at the price point 25 bucks and a giant mutant yeah i'll definitely take it but you've heard my thoughts and now i'm curious to know yours comment below let me know let's talk everything mega mutants and I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, should have come with just a tiny horse, right? Just one horse. Nah, he doesn't need that horse. And when he does, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.